We tested 10 actresses with Ryan, nine of them very well known. We went around with a video camera and we just, you know, looked up people that were working and interrupted them from their movies and some of them were really, really, really great. But when Miss McAdams came in and, and read, it was apparent that she was the one. Rachel McAdams happened to be in Los Angeles one weekend doing publicity for a film. Her agent arranged for her to try out for the role of Allie. I didn't know who she was. It was somebody that was a last minute addition and you think, oh, well, I hope this one works out. I read the script the night before and bawled my eyes out. I'm surprised that I even got up the next day. I was just wrecked by it. Hi, my name is Rachel McAdams. And uh, went in there and met Ryan and met Nick. Every girl wanted to talk about the scene and the character and all those things, and we talked about it, like, just endlessly. But Rachel came in, and we said, do you want to talk about it? She's like, no. We're like, nothing, you don't want to? She's like, no, 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 just let's do it. You know, for so many years, all I could think about was you, my long-lost love. So we sat down and did the first scene, and Nick was like, OK, let's do the next scene. And we did the next scene, and uh, we were all sort of crying, and, and uh, Matthew Barry, the casting director, was filming, and he had to stop and get a tissue and stuff. It was really, it was really nice. She was just really prepared and really, like, ready to try anything and uh, unintimidated. And then we did the third scene, and it was pretty electric. I will always love you, no, There was just a feeling there, just everything sort of fit and everything worked, and it was the best audition experience I've ever had. And I just walked out of that room, and I was just in another world. Like, I just couldn't catch my breath. She left, and Nick and I were just like, oh, God. I just gave each other a hug, and it was just really a big relief. And at the end of the day, we went with the best person for the job. What are you going to do, Al? I don't know. What about the last two days? They happened, right? Can't just take that away? No. I know that they happened. And, and they were wonderful, but they were very irresponsible. You know, I, I have a life back in Charlotte. I, I have a fiancé who's waiting for me at a hotel who's going to be crushed when I tell him what happened. And I don't even know if he's going to take me back, but I have to go talk to him. So you make love to me. Then you go back to your husband. Is that the plan? Is that a test out? I didn't pass it? Hmm? I made a promise to a man. He gave me a ring, and I gave him my word. And your word is shot to hell, don't you think? Well, I don't know. I'll find out when I talk to him. So you're not going to break your promise? That's what this is about? I thought it was about following your heart, Al. Or maybe it's about something else. Let's be honest. Maybe it's about security. Oh, oh, what is that supposed to mean? You know, he does have a lot of money, Al. Uh, okay, now I hate you. Now I hate you. You don't think that I love Lon? You smug bastard. Haven't you been paying attention there for the past? What do you think's been happening here? I don't know. I think I must have misread the signal. Yeah, I guess you did. You're bored out of your head, Allie, and you know it, or else you wouldn't be here. Oh, you arrogant son of a bitch. Stay with me. N <laughs> stay with you? Yes. Why would I stay with you? Look at us. We're already fighting. Well, that's what we do. We fight, Al. We... You're not afraid to tell me when I'm being an arrogant son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm not afraid to tell you when you're being a pain in the ass, which you are 99% of the time. But I'm not afraid to hurt your feelings, Alec, because they got a two-second rebound right before you back to the next pain in the ass thing. <laughs> so? So? It's going to be hard. We're going to have to work at this, but come on. Don't take the easy way out. <laughs> What easy way out? There is no easy way out. No matter what I do, somebody gets hurt. Well, forget about everyone then. 
Forget about everyone and me and him and your parents and then what you think you should do. What about you? What do you want? It's not that simple. Yes, it is, Al. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs>